So the fourth E is our special new kind of electric off-roading. And it's a great package for a new kind of driving. And also, I would say, you know, when, you, when we did this vehicle, we were really thinking about people who actually go out in nature. I would think they would want to go out in nature with an electric vehicle, enjoy nature, not polluting the nature they enjoy so much. So the 4C will be the cleanest and most sustainable all-wheel drive off-road vehicle available. Now, what's unique about this off-road edition is that it's actually an add-on package that even if you already bought your, your Ocean or, or getting your Ocean this year, you can still order this package and we will put it on for you. You can, of course, also order a new vehicle with this package on it. And let me talk to you a little bit about this vehicle. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a beast. Look at how wide it is. It's got extra wide fenders here with a really cool graphic. Those wheels are huge, 33-inch wheels sitting on 20-inch aluminum rims. Pretty cool. Well, of course, it's also durable and it's made for off-road. So, for example, we have a higher gr ground clearance and we also have a protective underbody uh, plate under here. And then we have structural front and rear skid plates. And then we have specialized dampers. And of course, we have great ramp angles, both front and rear. So this is really a unique design. This package is going to be available in Q1 next year already. And we will talk about pricing a little closer to that. So that's the Force E. So the electric Ronin is actually the world's first four-door convertible. And of course, it's got a carbon fiber hardtop. But this is really about redefining the supercar. You know, what is in the future? We want the ultimate driving experience. We wanted a new type of luxury. So we're working on the interior, which completely will redefine luxury. We are going away from traditional chrome and, and wood in the interior and really coming up with something new. I'm super excited about that. But also, let's talk a little bit about the technology in the Ronin. Because we see the Ronin as being, as being the technology carrier for Fisker, where we can showcase all our new things in this vehicle. Let's start, for example, with the integrated battery pack. So... There is already some integrated battery pack ideas out there, and, and you know, of course, we know about those, but we have actually looked at something different. We're looking at integrating the cells into the structure of the body, and that will give us our goal of getting to 600-mile range. That's kind of a lot. And the reason we are going for a 600-mile range is because this is a luxury GT, Gran Turismo, you want to drive from Los Angeles to Napa Valley or from Paris to Saint-Tropez or wherever, and you just want to drive. You just want to have fun. You don't want to think about when you have to stop. You just want to have fun in this vehicle. So that's why we went for this long range, and I think it's important. Second part, having fun. Yes, it's got supercar performance, 0 to 60 around 2 seconds, and, of course, over 1,000 horsepower. And to capture all that, of course, four-wheel drive and a tri-motor setup. All right, let's meet Pear, which stands for, by the way, Personal Electric Automotive Revolution. You know, we really want to design this vehicle here for today's and future's lifestyles. You know, you think about cars, they've kind of not changed much the last 50 years when you think about different utility aspects of a car. So with the Pear, we actually started out looking at young people's lifestyles in big cities around the world. What, what, do they, what do they do every day? What do they want out of a car? You know, young people living in cities. How will digital natives use a vehicle in the future? 
So we designed a lot of flexible spaces in this, in this vehicle, flexible storage. I mean, you saw that kind of drawer that comes out, which we actually call a front boot, which is fruit. Now, I don't know if that's really a great word, but that, we were very excited about it. We might change that. Um, anyway, uh, but it also has, you know, as you saw, the Houdini trunk. And there was a reason why we made that Houdini trunk. That was part of that whole study. And when you think about you're maybe living in a big city, you're parking on the street, and during the night a big van comes up right behind you, and you come out in the morning, you want to throw something in your hatchback, and you can't open it. So that solves this problem. And I want to take a look at, again, you know, what does this trunk here do? The window comes down, as you see here, and then basically the trunk goes down and disappears inside. Now, one of the important things I want to say with this vehicle, it also had a couple of other reasons. So, for example, there are some old cities where you have a very low parking garage, and again, you can hit your hatchback in the roof on those garages, but this doesn't happen here. And in fact, it's also really easy to walk over to the vehicle and throw something in the vehicle. Super easy. We can close that again. And Coming a little bit back to the spaciousness of this car, I want to ask the people inside the car to come out. And I want to remember, this is a compact car, and there is two rows of seats in this car, as you can see, four doors. And people just keep coming out, by the way. <laughs> so what we have here is actually a car. With, we actually have a car here. As you can see, six people fits in the car, which is quite unique in a two-row uh, vehicle. And this is why this matters, because if you want six people in a car today, you normally have to buy a three-row vehicle, which becomes much larger, much more impact on the environment. In this vehicle, you can actually get all these people in the car. And the way we did that, in the front here, you will see that there actually is a bench seat instead of a one seat for the passenger. There's a bench sheet where you can put two people, or you can just set one person as well. So we'll offer this vehicle both as a six-seater, but also as a traditional five-seater with a unique storage right between the people, uh, a very big center console. Here we decided to show the six-person variant. You can also see inside this vehicle, there's a lot of new type of storage place. If you look at the whole dash, everything in the dash is about storage. We got some rubber bands, we can fasten things. So it's all about being able to put stuff in different places easily. What's also unique about this car is that we actually have something called the lounge mode, where you can move the front seats forward, fold them down, and the rear seat you can fold down. So you can actually sleep in this car if you want, you can just lounge. And in the five seat version, we offer the big 17.1 inch rotatable ocean screen which really means that you can actually lounge in here and watch a movie. Yeah. All right, so that's definitely a completely different take on a pickup truck. It's obviously super sporty. I mean, just look at those wheel arches. Look at the clean body, the muscles in the front. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look at that, those thin tail lamps, the lights here. I mean, this is just, I mean, it's, it's kind of really cool in my opinion. I can't wait to get out in this one here. Now, what, when we did this vehicle, by the way, we were thinking about pickup trucks. I mean, it's a super hot market. And, uh, you know, of course, there are some amazing full-size pickup trucks out there. So we didn't really want to go in that market. We also figured out, you know, we looked into how are people actually using these pickup trucks. And, of course, pickup trucks are getting used as pickup trucks, but... They're also driven daily. A lot of people drive these cars to go shopping, to put the kids in school, or drive to work. So we wanted to have a pickup truck that had both the, the pickup truck efficiency and usability, but also was a great driver's car. You know, great road holding, great ride, fun to drive. And this vehicle is actually built on a platform we call the FT31, but it's really a modified stressed ocean platform, which means we can get this vehicle into production fairly quickly. Uh, it's going to be really dynamic, very responsive, with the convenience on a pickup truck. But we thought we got to do something really unique. So 
with this rear bed, we of course have sort of in this class, I don't even know what class this is because we didn't really want to follow anybody. So it's probably somewhere between a compact and a midsize pickup truck. And most of those in this class have like a four and a half foot bed, which we do. So if you open up the bed here electrically, uh, we, we then thought we got to find a way to kind of get a full size, you know, bed on here. And what everybody else does is you have to kind of order what bed you want. But we thought, no, let's have it in the same vehicle. So we actually have the Houdini trunk here in this vehicle as well, as well, where you can lower the entire area and then you can actually shoot through long items when you need. You can, of course, fold down all the seats. And in that, when it's like this, it's actually seven and a half foot long as a full-size pickup truck. So when you do need to go out and get your Christmas tree or something long, you can actually do that. And if you go all the way to the edge of here, of the actual tailgate, it's 9.6 feet long. I would say anybody wow. could fit in there and sleep, yeah. quite frankly. Yeah, so. amazing. So of course, a Fisker have to have four features. So this is one of them. But this will also be the world's most sustainable pickup truck. Again, a lot of use of sustainable materials, and it will be the world's lightest electric pickup truck. The lightest. We expect a range of around 230 to 340 miles, which I think is pretty good. That'll give sort of the versatility of what you need in this vehicle. And of course, we also got some pretty cool interior features as well. And I'll come to this side here. You can Wait, just so stay in there and hold them, hold it. We're gonna take off shortly. Just stay in here, we'll take off shortly. Okay. So I just wanna show over here some cool things. We got like- Henrik, is there gonna be like, you know, a California start? mode version for this? Like Yellowstone mode or something? No. something? So we have something else that's much cooler. We have big gulp mode. So if you see here, this is the world's <laughs> largest cup holder, which is really cool. And I'm gonna have a little sip here. <laughs> ah, somebody put vodka in. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. This Great. is water. This is water. Uh, so this is, this is, we did a lot of cool stuff in here. And coming back to sustainability, look at this really cool material here, if you guys can see it. Um, this is actually feels like a fabric, but it's actually reclaimed wood that's going under a special treatment to feel like fabric. And it looks like wood. It's really cool. And the whole theme in here is kind of like the forest theme. Which, which I really think is cool. We also have here behind, I probably have to step out so maybe you can film it. We have here behind, maybe you can step out, yeah. So we have here behind, we have a cowboy hat holder. <laughs> so when you're, you know, you're driving, you wanna just scoot that cowboy hat in here. I think that's a pretty cool feature. That's great. And then, you know, all pickup truck always have that sliding window. Now, if you have a large cap like this, you obviously have to have a super long arm to be able to slide it. So instead, of course, we have that screen that rolls down at the rear, which is part of our Houdini trunk, which really means you also get California mode in this vehicle, right. which I think is pretty cool. Now, all this together, uh, we are going to start the price with this vehicle at 45,400 before incentives and 37,900 after or with incentives.